so this is a great demonstration of the thermals within a log hive versus the traditional Langstroth uh, or any kind of box hive where you have like you know like these kind of quarter inch panels this log has been burning now for about two hours and you can tell by the intense flame in there now it's like a rocket fire the great thing about rocket fires is that in logs is that you get all the heat coming out but it's absolutely safe to touch the outside of the log bearding is absolutely beautiful to look at it's fascinating it's great to watch on YouTube but if you think about it from the bees point of view they're coming out of there because of the intense heat that's generated they're basically boiling in their in their own home they've got no air con in a log hive or in the wild do we see bearding in trees? I actually don't know the answer to that. I'm going to guess that there's not any bearding going on because they're able to regulate their temperature. In these log hives that I'm doing, the thickness of the walls can be up to 10 inches thick. Right here, it's about uh, three to four inches of thickness, but definitely enough to keep the temperature of this rocket fire inside the hive. So when I go to touch the walls of this log, it'll be stone cold. And then if I tilt it, you'll see the rocket fire down below. Hopefully you'll catch it here. I think whether you actually keep bees in traditional hives or log hives, for most of us, we have the same thing in common. We care about the bees. We don't look at the bees as just being a beast that we force to make honey or force to pollinate. There are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, I'm sure, who just care about having bees in their backyard to pollinate and get a little bit of honey. And what's wrong with that? So I think we should work together to find a solution. Or if one person thinks that treating hives is the best method, then great, you do that. And then if another person thinks that keeping bees in logs is the best way forward and not treating them then great let them do that let's just respect each other's you know way of trying to figure out the best way to move forward i think we all have one thing in common like i said that we want to get through the winters and have our bees in the spring we just have different approaches in getting there and by the way, this rain has been a terrific um, time to film. 
because this fire will not go out unless I bring in the big buckets of water of the fire hose. So I'm gonna to have to do that now because <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this into a planter now for my, my tomatoes, <laughs> not for the bees. Um, tell me what you think about keeping bees in logs and especially regarding the thermal issues in regulating temperatures. Do I have a valid point or don't I? Let me know. Thanks. And let's keep bee keeping.